Greetings, unsettled souls, and happy view year! Very happy to see that you are back. I did a lot of updates around Christmas, and then I tapered off over the weekend uh, due to the correct views has been hacked. Get this! I am going to tell you for the new year one resolution you might want to keep. Never buy a Balkan product. Ever. Modem. I was hacked. But because my warranty was over, they wanted me to either spend $75 for six months or a hundred and something for a year warranty renewal, or they would not reconfigure my modem for me. So I promptly went on to Craigslist, or I don't know where my girlfriend went. Hello, Christelle. Bought a new modem for much cheaper than their insurance is, and I am telling everyone to never, ever buy a Belkin modem because their customer service is horrible. How horrible? That's why you haven't seen me. Uh, new modem coming. I have a, a, a dinosaur of a computer that is uploading this video because it's the new year and we're going to get on to the new news. Natural Society incredibly effective protein from Fukushima nuclear... Or extremely effective protection from Fukushima nuclear radiation effects. That's how you start the first report of the year. All right. For those of you that don't know, we're going to start the new year off talking about a disaster that happened almost two years ago. Why? Because the worst disaster in all of recorded history happened about two years ago. Uh, March 11th, 2011, for those of you that do not know, and uh, you're going to shriek when you hear if you don't, um, we have three nuclear power plants over there glowing bright red. They melted down, far worse than uh, Three Mile Island. And by many accounts, by people who know what they're talking about, worse than Chernobyl in Russia, uh, Ukraine. Well, this is very good news then. Um, a lot of you that have followed this show already know that I am a huge advocate of vitamin C. Um, I take uh, two of the generic emergencies every single day. And uh, everybody in Ohio right now, I mean, it's, it's Blizzardville, obviously. The North Pole's warm compared to us. And uh, everybody's sick as a dog. Tiniest bit of sniffles is all I've had so far. And if it does manage to break down my vitamin C defenses, it's probably not going to be as bad on me as it is on some other people. Well, that whole story has a point. Vitamin C does this for a number of things. And one of the very, very prominent and effective things that are being done is the use of um, vitamin C intravenously against radiation. And that's what they're talking about here. But there's something that is better than that, and that's what this story relates to. Megadose vitamin C <clears throat> administered by IV gets more vitamin C into the bloodstream directly than orally administered C. Unfortunately, it is difficult to find someone who will do IVC in the USA, it says, thanks to our medical mafia. If you can find someone near you, it can be a bit pricey per treatment. But there is another solution that anyone can access with less cost, and it can be taken oral orally. Liposomal encapsulated C surpasses even IVC's ability to penetrate your cells where it is ultimately needed. So it takes considerably less liposomal encapsulated vitamin C to equal thousands of milligrams of IVC. <clears throat> liposomal. Now, try to say that 10 times. You know what? I'll, it'll be flowing off the tongue by the time I do this. Um, here's some news on exactly uh, what this can do. The poster guy for liposomal encapsulated vitamin C is a New Zealand farmer, Alan Smith. After, he, after the hospital threatened to take him off of life support while he was in a coma with double pneumonia and leukemia, that is blood cancer, complications from about with the flu, Allen's family pushed for megadose vitamin C administered IV. The vitamin C was administered for a couple of days, but doctors refused to continue even after Allen showed signs of improving. <clears throat> After the family got an attorney involved, the hospital resumed with much lower doses, going from 50 grams daily to 2 grams daily. After this happened, 
Alan's family found out about a new vitamin C product called Lipospheric. It can be orally con it is an orally consumed gel in packets that can be ordered online. All right, guys, you don't want to watch me read the screen all night, and I've got uh, plenty of commentary for myself coming up. But there you have the facts, so go and look it up. This here is from uh, Zero Hedge. Tokyo, almost as radiated as Fukushima. I'm just going to shoot these facts out here real quick. People, this isn't a joke. If you're living in California, Oregon, Washington, Alaska, or Hawaii, you are going to destroy your lives and your children's lives. This is what Tokyo has right now. And keep in mind, this is going to be coming over in the jet stream, and we'll be right on us real soon. <clears throat> Tokyo area turned out to be as contaminated as Fukushima. Tokyo-based cesium is even higher levels reported off Fukushima. Nearly the entire seafloor will be contaminated by 2014. Things feed off of the ocean floor and then that gets into us. And all of these uh, particles accumulate. You don't get them and they leave like a cold. You get them and then you get another, and another, and another, and another, and they all keep irradiating your body, and they do it your whole life. Tokyo gets five times more radioactive fallout than prefectures closer to Fukushima. <clears throat> Japan Times, time bomb in Tokyo metropolitan area, experts warn of accumulating Fukushima contamination. And here's what's going to interest all of you that are going to say, well, why does it matter? You know, what are you talking about, Sam? It's not affecting us. California slammed with Fukushima radiation. Absolutely everyone, 15 out of 15 bluefin tuna tested in California waters, for you Lady Gaga fans, that's a state in our country, contaminated with Fukushima radiation. Fukushima radiation, Japan irradiates the west coast of North America. American sailors are suing TEPCO for lying about Fukushima. <clears throat> I'm not going to read all of this part of the article. It is obviously posted. Go and look at it. Our boys were on that lot, that uh, uh, ship that was in waters helping. They're our ally. We were in those waters. Japan and our own country, yes, Mr. Obama the saint, our own country and Japan lied and let them sail in those waters. And they washed the ship with absolutely no protection at all. You can't protect yourself from some forms of radiation, but there are definitely things you can do that are much more conducive to you living than being sent out to clean up with a mop and a brush, which is exactly what they did. So I hope they sue TEPCO out of existence. Um, this is Kyoto News. I am doing some Fukushima updating here because I've been away from this topic for a while, and it's all coming to our country, people. You people are going to be looking at me, I'm talking to the, the ones that think I'm crazy, like I'm some kind of a prophet uh, three or four or five years from now when cancers are going crazy on the West Coast, and all I'm doing is reading the paper. I have no great prophet here. Fukushima air radiation monitors under-reporting data. The Nuclear Emergency Response Headquarters at the Prime Minister's Office announced Wednesday a 150 million yen plan to retool devices to monitor radiation levels in the air at 675 locations in Fukushima. They had metal boxes containing batteries next to the detection units at the monitoring posts. They did everything they could, basically, to block the radiation. What happened? Uh, readings. <clears throat> Let's say right here in my hand, it is a, uh, it's testing for radiation. And it's going to test the radiation from this laptop that's off camera, but it's right under. It's going to see that radiation. But if I don't, hey, I always knock it over, I might as well use it. Um, if I put this plant in front of it, and this plant is made out of uh, lead or certain kinds of uh, metal substances, then it won't read this radiation at its true level. It will read it much lower. And therefore, if our computer was a radiation uh, level of some significant threat, these lying bastards were not even allowing the people to know the truth. 
And that is the truth, guys. That is the correct view. So why we're doing radiation, why don't we do a little bit more that isn't a, a nuclear power plant? It's just stupidity, shall we? Is your food being hit with a healthy dose of radiation? Here's what's going on. I just don't want to sit here reading this, but the Food and Drug Administration, they already don't want us to know if we're eating food that has been genetically modified. This has already been proven well. Now they are zapping all of our foods with small doses of radiation that are safe to get rid of bacteria that might be handled from bad processing. This, they say, allows us to feed more people in greater qualities. Here's what I say. Label it. People, <clears throat> many states, make them label if your food's been radiated before. It, it, like if, if it's, let's say you have radiation on uh, a small amount of ham. It's not going to hurt you any. Let's say you also drink some milk. And they zap that milk, too. Well, they do this so that certain antibodies and viruses and things cannot be living in the milk when you get it in case it was processed bad. So instead of making the standards higher or instead of enforcing existing laws on food safety, they decide that they're going to zap it with radiation that kills the bacteria or whatever it is that could maybe be in your food. So the more you eat and the more you drink, the more radiation you bring in. Now, only certain levels of radiation are safe. Well, that's not what Lauren Murray says. That's not what Arnie Gunderson says. If you look at Miss Milky the Clown site, that's not what any physicist says. Why? Well, unless they're on the government payroll. And why is that? Because there is no safe level of radiation. And the more you eat, the more you accumulate. And as I just mentioned in my last segment, it never goes away. It accumulates. It goes up and up and up and up. What is being zapped? Oh, not much, really. Just uh, spices, dried vegetables, fresh vegetables, fruit, herbs, pork, poultry, red meat, eggs, and sprouts. It says to grow your own food or sharp locally. That's easier in some areas than it is others. Some companies are even looking to go a step further using MicroZap technology to make mold-free food for 60 days. Do you know how much radiation you'd have to zap something with to do that? People, this matters. That's why you're seeing cancer go through the roof. Are U.S. munitions to blame for both, both for birth defects? Spiegel Online. Does anybody listening to this actually get what I'm talking about. This whole show has been radiation. Please listen to me. It's the new year. I don't start the new year off by lying. I would lose all my credibility. I would lose all the people that just found me from the Alex Jones Bob Costas contest. Welcome aboard all of you and thank you for listening. <clears throat> Depleted uranium. There's uranium and they they use the leftover byproducts of what should never have been mined to begin with. Uranium is one of the most toxic elements known to man. It creates byproducts of things and elements that were never even meant to exist. Well, we're using them as weapons because when they hit something, they explode. And this puts all that uranium dust into the air. Now, we're seeing birth defects all over this area. I'm going to read a little bit of this. I just gave you the outline. It sounds at first as if the old man were drunk, or perhaps as though he had been reading Greek myths. But Ashkar bin Saad doesn't read anything, especially not books, and there is no alcohol in Basra. In fact, he says he saw the creatures that he describes with his own eyes. Some had only one eye in the forehead, or two heads. <clears throat> one had a tail and a like a skinned lamb. Another one looked like a perfectly normal child, but with a monkey's face. Or the girl whose legs had grown together, half human, half fish. The babies Ashka bin Sad describes were brought to him. <clears throat> he washed them and wrapped them in shrouds, and then he buried them in the dry soil, littered with bits of plastic and can lids of his own cemetery, which has been in his family for five generations. <clears throat> it's a cemetery only for children. 
Though they are small, it continues, the graves are crowded so tightly together that they are almost on top of one another. <clears throat> they look as if someone had overturned toy wheelbarrows. Here we go. Double and triple cancels. Similarly, high values are reported from Fukushima, a, a Fallujah, excuse me, a city that was fiercely contested in the 2003 war. <clears throat> According to Hildeberg studies, the concentration of lead in the milk teeth of sick children from Bothra was almost three times as high as comparable values in the areas where there was no fighting. Never before have they seen such a high rate of neural tube defects, open back, been recorded in babies in Bothra, and the rate continues to rise. The number of hydrocephalus, water in the brain, cases among newborns is six times as high in Basra as it is in the United States. Triple cancers through the roof. This is all from the depleted uranium. Go and read it. Because we're going to have soldiers coming home that have all these triple cancers. Or what? Do what, you think this depleted uranium is only killing people in Basra? It doesn't kill Americans? Wake up! Um, <clears throat> last thing I want to get to, Americans who voted for Obama now seeing weekly job hours slash below 30 hours as Obamacare kicks in natural news. As I have always preached, if you're going to have socialized medicine, then you need to have it with no caps. You need to have it with, uh, out euthanasia. And you need to have it not based on employment. Otherwise, you shouldn't have it. Most people are going to say, well, that means you shouldn't have it. Welcome to libertarianism. Now, <clears throat> if you don't work 30 hours a week, your employer doesn't have to give you Obamacare, which costs him a fortune. So what he's doing is cutting the hours below 30. So now... Not only will poor people not have health care, they will have less hours too. I just recently got health insurance, and I'm sure that I, some catastrophe will befall me at some point, and God willing it won't, that I won't have it again. Um, I'm almost 40 years old, and I haven't had health insurance since I was 19. I'm delighted to have it again. I think we need something for people that are not insured. I have always said that. I have always said that I think there needs to be insurance for everyone. But I think these kinds of things need to be handled on a state issue where people have a say in them. Why? Because if not, this happens! You are listening to the correct views. Thank you for listening. Good night, God bless, and I am asking you, please start my new year off wonderfully. Please donate to the show if you can. Every penny you give me goes into this show. Um, the camera's been upgraded. If you don't believe me, go look at my movie, Bilderberg, Why It Mattered to Me. That is on my channel. You can download it if you want. Um, you'll see the quality upgrade. Every penny I get for this show goes to this show. Please help me make it a good show. Good night, friends. God bless, and a happy view year.